Hello. Welcome to Wise Guys. Can I show Wise Guys in session? This video is about concentration of a solution, part per, per million ppm, part two. Let's look at the, some questions. Question one, uh, let's say, question one is the concentration of a carbon monoxide may go as high as 140 ppm volume to volume in a traffic jet. Find the carbon monoxide in milliliter in a 10 liters of sample of air. So first of all, this one is talking to carbon monoxide, the concentration, the concentration of carbon monoxide in 10 liters of sample air. So we given 140 ppm volume per volume. So we start from concentration to write 140 ppm this is volume to volume equals to 140 volume in this question we have one is carbon monoxide milliliter and the unit of air is liter so if you use 140 is milliliter and the volume use 10 to the 6 milliliter because per milli and 10 to the 6 right so these two units have to be same and then we look for on the other side we can write, because this is a concentration, follow this concentration, what is the volume of carbon monoxide in 10 liters of sample. So if we choose 10 liters, and this is x will be liter. So liter, liter, same, uh, same unit. This is the X liter, it talk about carbon monoxide. This 10 liter, it talk about air sample. So we, we choose liter. This is choose liter. Okay, all liters. To solve this ratio proportion, which I write cross multiplication cross multiplication which is x times 10 to the 6 exponent we have 10 to the 6 exponent multiply x which is reader equals 140 multiply 10 so this is 140 multiply 10 reader And this is looking for x. We divide the 10 to the 6 for both sides. This cancel out. So we've got the x equals to 140 times 10. If you talk about the scientific notation, this is two zeros, one zero, three zero. So 1.4 times 10 to the 3 exponent divide the 10 to the 6 exponent so which you give us x equals 1.4 times 10 to the negative 3 exponent liter but question looking for milliliter so that's why from, mi from liter to milliliter we can multiply 1000 so 1.4 times 10 to the 10 to the negative 3 and time thousand which is three exponent. So ten to the negative three and multiply ten three this is uh, cancel out you got the one because this is uh, exactly negative three plus three is zero ten to the zero exponent equal one so this is equal to one. So this is 
so which is 1.4 milliliter. 1.4 milliliter. So this is carbon monoxide. So in 10 liters of sample of air, there are 1.4 milliliter carbon monoxide. This is a question one. Question two. Question is, it was found that the concentration of hydrogen sulfate, sulfide H2S is 3.00 ppm at mass per volume. In a certain location of a city, and uh, the, we're looking for how much hydrogen sulfide in milligram would be in a 7.5 liter of sample of air. Looking for mg, the given 7.5 liter, and then this is the mass is uh, per volume. Concentrate is 3 ppm. We start from right 3.00 ppm, which is equals to 3 parts per million, 10 to the 6. And then equals to example air is 7.5, so we put 7.5 liter. So if we put this liter and top is mass, so liter is when well liter is volume and the mass is kilogram. So same thing if this is you keep liter and this is a kilogram. Okay? And working with this part, working with this part, because this is the ratio proportion, you have more solution than you have more solute. The top represent the hydrogen sulfide, the bottom represent the dimple air. This is uh, looking for in 7.5 liters how many hydrogen sulfide. But they're looking for milliliter, milligrams, but we using the liter, so we got a kilogram. Then after that, then we convert to milligram, right? So we're working with this one and still doing, we can do cross multiplication. Cross multiplication. Then we multiply x with 10 to the 6. We have 10 to the 6 exponent x equals to. 3.00 times 7.5. So then we have, we can divide the 10 to the 6 exponent for both sides. For canceling this one. So this one we can calculate 3 times 7.5 is 22.5. And I divided 10 to the 6 exponent. The unit here is kg. So to convert kg, say convert kg to milligram, so we do this way from kg kilogram to gram, then gram to milligram, right? So from Kilogram to gram, we multiply thousand, which is 10 to 3 exponent. And from gram to milligram, also multiply 10 to the 3 exponent of gram. So total, you from kilogram to milligram, you multiply thousand, thousand million, which is 6 exponent, right? So that's why we can say x equals to 22.5 grams over 10 to the 6 kilogram, then multiply 10 to the 6 exponent, and then we got the milligrams. So this one, this one cancel out, because this is 10 to the 6 over 1, right? 
and then we got 22.5 milligram. This is the hydrogen sulfide. So there are 22.5 milligram of hydrogen sulfide in 7.5 liter of sample of air. This is presented by Wise Guy. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.